hi everyone welcome to this video production this video production will bless you greatly as you watch and pray along prepare to receive prophetic declarations by apostle joshua selman feel free to like share comment and also subscribe thank you so much for joining us and god bless you welcome to start now channel we are glad you tuned in today to experience another life-changing encounter in god's presence the bible says in psalm 119 verse 130 the entrance of thy word will get right. As you listen and watch, may you experience the transformative power of God's light. In the name of Jesus, the spirit that is back of that infirmity, whatever it is called, I invoke the name that is above every other name, and even the blood of the eternal covenant, that altar that speaks above and against every negative altar. I command that those spirits depart right now. Depart right now. Depart right now. Now I decree and declare in the name of Jesus for all those who are sick. It doesn't matter how long and it does not matter what the problem is. I stretch my hands prophetically and I declare be healed now. Let the life of God surge into your body now. In the name of Jesus Christ, cancer be healed now. Tumors and growths be healed now. Anyone having a bone condition, I declare be healed now. Anyone lying down on the sick bed, I forbid you from dying in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the Living God, I speak healing for you now. 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 Agree with me in the name of Jesus. Koinonia shout a loud amen in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. My God, miracles are happening. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I command every devil of infirmity, every spirit that is back of any kind of disease be gone right now in the name of Jesus my God now I declare be healed be healed from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet some of you have multiple lungs around the breast area right now check it that devil is gone that devil is gone every growth in your body it answers to the name of Jesus right now. My goodness, God is setting people free. I am seeing God take things out of people's comments. Like, I don't know, like growth or whatever. I declare anyone having a fibroid or any kind of demonic growth, right now, fire from heaven is coming upon you. That devil dissolves now. That devil dissolves now. Be healed now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus we declare that cancer dries from your body now the Bible says that God will preserve those who have been appointed to die there are human beings who have been appointed to die they are walking on earth whereas they have finished when you read the book of Esther you will see that they use divination to choose the date where they will fight and annihilate the Jews in the name of Jesus for everyone and every family here appointed to death that whilst you are walking on earth in the realm of the spirit it has been concluded that on this day you will die I decree and declare death passes over you death passes over your loved ones we rebuke the spirit of death Oh grave, where is your victory? Oh death, where is your sting? 
be banished from God's people. In the name of Jesus, I speak to you that the fullness of your days you will fulfill. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every situation that has become an object of mockery in your life, I stand by the God of heaven and I declare, between now and the end of this month, in the name of Jesus, whose I am, in the name of Jesus, that situation is done for your good now. I command every devil of infirmity right now be gone in the name of Jesus. I cause every spirit responsible for any and all forms of infirmity. The Lord rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Please help those under the anointing. Be healed in the name of Jesus. My God, miracles are happening. On the crown of your head, my God, such an anointing is flowing to the soles of your feet. Be healed now. Be healed now. I administer the power of God to your body I command every growth dissolve now every swelling go down now every tumor disappear now be healed in Jesus name be healed in Jesus name now whether I mention your case or not in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God I bring you the life and the healing power of Jesus and for those of you who are standing in for your loved ones I decree and declare wherever they are across this nation and around the globe may the angel of God's presence go with the healing power of Jesus to them in the mighty and marvelous name of Jesus Christ be healed in Jesus name be healed in
devil let us hear. Let fire fall on this request. 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 On this request. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me. By miracle service may. In the name of Jesus, you will not have to repeat anything you've written here. I stand upon this request and I decree and declare the same way I'm standing upon it prophetically. Everything that has risen above you to limit your life, I bring it under your feet. I bring it under your feet. I bring it under your feet. Now I declare over your life, favor like you have never seen. May that grace rest upon you. Favor like you have never seen. May that grace rest upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Number two, Koinonia, receive speed. Receive speed. In one month, may God give you the achievement of years. In one month, I repeat, may my God give you the achievement of years. I decree and declare, everything that has brought you down and covered your glory, I give visibility to your glory. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me. The helpers of your destiny who have been anointed to locate you and to work in partnership with God for your lifting, wherever they are, I call them by prophecy to manifest in your life. I call them by prophecy to manifest in your life. Hear me. I pray for your various homes. I decree and declare, may your home be a tabernacle for the presence of God. May your home be a place of fire and revival. In the name of Jesus Christ. And everything written as Ichabod in your life, I decree and declare, let there be a sudden restoration. A sudden restoration. Wealth like you have never handled. May my God bring to your hands. In the name of Jesus. I pray for your relationship with the Lord. Hear me. Hear me. Hear me. Hear me. This is a very big deal. Not just for God. But even in this ministry. While it is true that we are concerned with the holistic view of every man it is important to understand that in order of priority the greatest point of emphasis is your spiritual health therefore I decree and declare your word study life your prayer life may fire come upon your altar in the name of Jesus Christ fire like never before to pray fire like never before to fast Fire like never before to pray. Fire like never before to fast. Your word study life, a passion for the word. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Are you ready to pray? Now hear me please. There are some serious prayers that we want to pray now. And whilst we pray i'm already seeing visions of fire when the holy spirit reveals himself as fire he does not just come as a refiner he also comes to burn everything everything in life is heat dependent there is no material known to man that can survive certain levels of heat hallelujah now hear me I taught you that there are five spiritual atmospheres and every time God introduces any of them, you must be discerning because it's time to receive. The atmosphere of prayer 
engenders reception. The atmosphere of worship engenders reception. The atmosphere of the prophetic engenders reception. You must be sensitive. I want us to pray. Are you ready to pray? This is the ministration now. As I pray, who is Josiah? Josiah. I'm hearing the name Josiah. 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 Josiah, hearing the name Josiah. Every altar that has brought families down, every altar that will not allow men and families to rise by the power of the Holy Spirit, I'm hearing Josiah. In the name of Jesus Christ, I curse those atmospheres now. I curse those atmospheres now. I'm hearing the name Olua Kemi. Olua Kemi. This is a Yoruba name. Olua Kemi. This is what I'm hearing. Olua Kemi. We are going to pray. But salvation has come to this person and this family. Olua Kemi. Who is that place? Oluwa Kemi. This is what I'm hearing in my spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, shame and reproach. Shame and reproach. I'm hearing the name Bridget. 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 Is there someone with such a name? Bridget, run here. Bridget, salvation has come to your family. Oh, oh, oh. rest on me. Oh, oh, rest on me. Oh, 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 rest on me, spirit of wisdom. Who is Bridget? Bridget, where are you from? I'm going to pray for you. We're going to pray, Bridget. I'm praying for you, but the person who is shouting now is in the crowd. Bring the person out. The power of God, just this direction. I'm seeing fire resting on someone. Please bring the person out now in the name of Jesus Christ please bring the person out now I want to pray for you I'd like you to be sensitive we are going to pray Bridget I'm hearing the name Bridget you have a daughter her name is Joy you have a daughter the name of the daughter is Joy I'm not saying the daughter, it's not the daughter I'm calling. It's the woman who has a daughter whose name is Joy. Please, where are you? I want to pray for you. In the name of Jesus, let me pray for those in front here. I'm seeing attacks on two of you. We're going to pray, but I'm seeing strange attacks. I curse those spirits. Right now, by the power of the Holy Ghost. Out of them now! Out of them now! Oh, oh, oh. Rest on me, oh, oh, rest on me, oh, oh, oh. I'm still seeing these attacks. Every attack on any family represented here by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Right now, I decree and declare by the rod of the apostolic and the prophetic, be delivered this moment. 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 You have been seeing the spirit of death on your husband. This is what God is revealing to me. The spirit of death. You have seen it in dreams. And this is targeted towards your husband. God wants me to pray for you before we get into prayer now. I decree and declare, I don't know who that woman is. The spirit of death. And this is targeted over your husband. That your husband will die and leave you and with your children and you go through all kinds of pain. And this thing wants to come as cancer. This is what I'm seeing. In the name that is above all names. And by the power that raised Christ from the dead. I command that spirit of death 
masquerading as infirmity it dies now it dies now it dies now hallelujah anointing please I want you to bring them out I know there are people shouting but this is I saw the number five bring them out tonight God is giving you a change of story please bring them out there is a reason why I ask them to come out your sister is a commissioner your sister is a commissioner this is what your sister is a commissioner. Is there someone like that? Commissioner meaning those who aid governments. Um, commissioner, I don't know whether commissioner of what, but I'm hearing commissioner. Your sister is a commissioner. Is there someone like that? I want to pray for you very quickly. Please, if I mention your case, just hurry up so you don't waste our time. We are going to pray. In the name of Jesus, the son of the living God, I'm praying right now for that person because I'm seeing something that looks like it's a spiritual thing, but it looks like someone eats and then they begin to have a bloating stomach and that's how they just pass on. In the name that is above all names. Anyone digging a pit for you, after the order of her man, may they fall into their same pit. I say it again, anyone digging a pit for your destruction, they fall into that pit. They fall into that pit. They fall into that pit. In the name of Jesus for all of you who are in front here I stretch my hands towards you in the name of Jesus Christ everything that is inconsistent with God's intent for your life and destiny I stretch my hands towards you now and I declare be delivered forever be delivered forever please return back to your seat we're going to pray fire is falling here now when it's time to pray in this prayer you are receiving with all your heart are you ready to pray psalm 3 and verse 1 3 and verse 1 give my people the mic so that we'll pray 3 and verse 1 it says oh lord how are they increased that trouble me many are they that rise up against me psalm 71 and verse 21 we're praying someone's destiny is about to change read with me one to read thou shall increase my greatness and comfort me how many sides how many sides joshua chapter 3 and verse 7 joshua 3 and verse 7 read with me and the lord said unto joshua this day i will begin to magnify thee in the sight of all israel that they may know that as I was with Moses, so I will be with you. Are you ready to pray? Shout this from the depth of your heart. Father, Father for your glory, for your glory, increase my greatness. Go ahead and pray. Increase my greatness for your glory. Father, for your glory, increase my greatness. Take away smallness from my destiny. Someone pray. Tired of where you are, pray. Tired of where you are, pray. Tired of where you are, pray. Father, for your glory, increase my greatness. For your glory, increase my greatness. For your glory, increase my greatness. Greatness is your heritage. Are you praying? Sapakata barakatos, rateka barakatas, rata bata kapas kata branda katesh, rates kata barakata barakos. Increase my greatness. Increase my greatness. Increase the greatness of my family for your glory. Thou shall increase my greatness and comfort me. Someone pray. Someone pray. Someone pray. Great 
smallness. Take away smallness from my destiny. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. My God, something is happening to your spirit, man. I tell you, there is an elevation in the spirit. An elevation. I'm seeing a ladder. This is what I'm seeing. An elevation. You will suddenly go and see that things are changing. Changing in your life. Prayer point number two. Take it down for me. For the last one month, this prayer point has not left my spirit. Restore everything that was lost. Restore everything that was stolen. Restore everything that was lost. Restore. You will restore. Restore everything that was stolen. Restore everything that was lost. Restore, you will restore. Are you ready to pray? Joel chapter 2. Some of you have lost all kinds of things. Everything to be lost has left you. You have lost opportunities. You have lost relationships. You have lost joy. You have lost strategic resources. It's time to have it back. Joel 2.25 And I will restore to you the years. And I will restore to you the years. God can restore time. Did you hear what I said? God can restore time. I will restore to you the years if God cannot restore time then he is not greater than time if it is he is greater and higher than the realm of time then he must sustain the ability to restore time Jeremiah 30 and verse 17 please give it to us quickly we are praying someone's life is changing for I will restore health unto you those failing organs, those failing body parts. You are just 20, 30, and yet they are telling you that you are losing certain things. It's time to be angry. God does not just restore time. God restores health and vitality. Psalm 41, 1 to 3. Shabakaparakatosiata. Blessed is the man that considered the poor. The Lord will deliver him in time of trouble. Verse 2. The Lord will preserve him and keep him alive. He says, and he shall be blessed upon the earth. He says, thou will not deliver him to the will of his enemies. Shout verse 3 together. The Lord will strengthen him in the bed of languishing. And I will make all his bed in sickness. God will not allow him to die. Not allow him to deplete and famish. First Peter 5 and verse 10. I like this one. God is restoring. But the God of all grace, who has called you to his eternal glory, he says, after that ye have suffered a while, what does he do? Make you perfect. Establish you. Strengthen you. And then settle you. Say it again. Make you perfect. Establish you. Strengthen you. And then settle you. Say, Father, I decree, I declare divine restoration of opportunities, of relationships, of resources, of men, of my joy. Now, open your mouth and pray. Restoration. 
restoration, restoration, restoration. 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 Restore joy. Restore years. Restore things. Restore men. Restore resources. Shabakaparos. Rakata praskata praskapas. Rakata praskata palakos. Rakata pranta kapas. Abrakatos koto prekatele. Cry restoration. Cry restoration. Cry restoration. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Job chapter 42 and verse 10. And the Lord turned the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends. And the Lord gave Job how many? How many? As much as he had before. The Lord turned his captivity, but he did not stop there. God restored by giving twice. Are you ready for the third prayer point? We have five in total, but we'll pray three now. And then I'll begin to minister deliverance. This is one miracle service you will not forget in a hurry. Are you ready? Prayer point number three. Genesis 21 and verse 1. It's one thing for God to speak, but it's another thing for his word to manifest speedily. Speedily. Listen. God's word can be sent, but it must arrive speedily. In the parable of the ten virgins, God himself was standing in the place of the bridegroom. It was the delay of the arrival of the bridegroom that made the oil of other virgins to finish. If the bridegroom came on time, all ten of them, they were virgins. Are we together now? It was the delay of the arrival of the bridegroom that made five to suffer loss. So when it does not arrive on time, your resources can pay for it. He says, satisfy me early with your mercy. Genesis 21 and verse 1. The Bible says, and the Lord visited Sarah as he has said. And the Lord spoke unto Sarah. Now watch this. You would think it just happened the next day. Look at how the Bible summarizes it. But let me break this scripture down for you. The Lord visited Sarah as he has said. And the Lord did unto Sarah as he has spoken. This is a spiritual reality. But the manifestation of this took 25 years before it arrived. Don't you think he just said it and it happened the next day? You see, the way God talks and the way he behaves, he expects his word to have come speedily. Whatever happened in the realm of the spirit that prolonged that situation, Jesus looked at the man in John chapter 5 and said, why are you still in this condition? And he said, I have no man. And it made his tragedy become 38 years. The woman who was bent for 18 years, another had hemorrhage for 12 years. Why does the Bible attach numbers to these tragedies? The Bible would have just said a certain man was sick. Abraham and Sarah were barren, trusting God. The man at gate, he had been there a long time. But the Bible is so meticulous, it attaches numbers. Notice when Jesus came, he did not honor the longevity of their pain. He made them know that for all of them, a possibility existed to have received the miracle earlier. Are you ready to pray? Let me give you one more scripture. This one we are going to pray. Because there are some of you, you can't wait again till December. No. The Bible said, this is the day 
not this is the week not this is the month there are days there are weeks there are months there are years whichever one your faith defines is what becomes your reality if your faith is for years save journey if your faith is for months save journey he said give us this day give us when one more time so God can give men this day there are times they will say after five months on the sixth month of the seventh year the word of the Lord came but Jesus himself said when you pray remind the father that is within his power to give you this day give me this this day give me liftings this day open a door for me this day are you ready to pray Joshua chapter 21 and verse 45 give us amplified we're still praying don't give up on God because he won't give up on you he saved you. I'm charging your faith as we get into this place of prayer I know him my God is able to do just what he says he will do he's got us to Joshua 21 45 read with me ready one to read there failed no part of any good thing which the Lord had promised to the house of Israel all came to pass how many how many are you ready to pray say father I declare a speedy manifestation of every prophetic word that is upon my life open your mouth and cry I declare speedy manifestation of every prophetic word I declare someone pray I declare a speedy manifestation of every prophetic word Speedy manifestation. Speedy manifestation. You have spoken. Let it come to pass. Today, you have spoken. Let it come to pass. Now, you have spoken. Let it come to pass. Now, you have spoken. Let it come to pass. Now. Let it come to pass now. Let it come to pass now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. My God, I'm tempted to give you the next one. Just endure. Let me give you the next one. Huh? Are you ready for the next one? John 14, 11. I have to give you the next one. This is why you came. He said, believe me that I am in the Father and the Father is in me. And if that revelation is what cannot make you believe, he said, believe me for the sake of the results. Believe me for the work's sake results can make men believe God and believe you did you hear what I said 
Results can make men believe God and believe you. We read John 15, 8 earlier on. Herein is my Father glorified when ye bear much fruit. Not just fruit, much fruit. Great results. John 15, 16. You have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you. Hallelujah. Ordained you to go and bear fruit, 15, 16. And that your fruit should remain. Let me tell you the truth. Do not downplay results in this life. I know that you are here because you love Jesus. But you are also here because you have seen results. Results at the end of any and every argument you can argue all you can but not in the presence of results hallelujah what is a prayer father give evidence to my christian experience did you hear what i said give evidence i'm tired of running around telling people i'm a christian i'm tired of telling people i love you without proof i'm tired of telling people i'm serving you without proof i'm tired of telling people that i'm living for you father give evidence to my christian experience give evidence to my loving you give evidence to my serving you give evidence to my trusting you are you ready say father, father. In this, season, in this season give evidence, give evidence to my christian experience, my christian experience. Results, results genuine results result. open your mouth and pray bring me into a realm of authentic results give evidence give evidence are you praying all the overflows pray give evidence to my serving you give evidence to my loving you give evidence to my lift my living for you Pray, pray. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. My deliverer is standing by. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. One more time. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Do you know why? We minister deliverance to people. I don't have the time, but perhaps next week I will teach you something very powerful. You see, the major challenge with believers in the body of Christ is we do not know that for results to happen in the earth, please listen, there are three things, three conditions that need to be satisfied. Number one is called the finished work of Christ that reality has been settled in Christ number two is the effective appropriation of that which is finished in Christ engaging it through faith are we together and then number three the results manifest the major challenge with believers is that we think just because realities are finished in Christ it automatically means the earth eternally has an instruction to give crops and yet there is still hunger on earth why because that prophetic word 
there has to be an appropriation system the name of the appropriation system is sowing every time you sow you are partnering with prophecy it is prophetic instruction to the earth plus the farmer's responsibility that is equal harvest am i right on that you even in a desert the land was still instructed to produce under a certain kind of condition that is why in israel a desert land they have food for the next 15 years in a desert land so you read in scriptures by his stripes i am healed that is a prophetic reality from god's standpoint you read from scripture no inhabitant in zion shall say i am sick the bible would teach us that we have been called out of every tribe and tongue and nation these things are not a lie they are realities as finished in christ but you must understand the appropriation system of the spirit that means the system of converting prophecy to make it manifest the bible says the word became flesh the word became flesh the healing word became flesh the prospering word became flesh the lifting word became flesh then it dwelt among men it is only when it became flesh that it dwelt among men and we beheld his glory we couldn't see the glory when it was in the realm of the spirit the bible says from the foundations of the earth the lamb was already slain but that reality could not save any man people still died and went to hades until jesus came in reality and partnered with prophecy he says lo i come as it is written in the volume of the book are we together when he partnered with prophecy and actually died like the prophet said he would die it was that experience in partnership with prophecy that produced redemption so when we minister deliverance and you see people who came believing in God manifesting and God is releasing people it is not negating what Christ has done it is en engaging the appropriation system the reason why the demons will leave is because victory has been wrought already in Christ I have taught you that the concept of deliverance and warfare for the believer is not engaging to see who wins is enforcing the victory that is finished already but making it manifest here and now the fact that believers still get sick should tell you that it is possible for an individual to still be under an influence of demons because the same package is what delivered everything it delivered victory over sin victory over sickness victory over satan victory over the grave victory over a defeated life they all came in one package the fact that believers can still be poor and yet you are not ashamed you will teach you principles and you will rise a believer can be sick and he can be ministered to supernaturally or medically you should not be surprised that a believer may not be possessed but can be greatly influenced by spirits and i've taught you here that there are three conditions by which spirits engage the saints one is called disobedience two is called ignorance three is called covenants and covenants are transgenerational in their approach that means you don't have to be there and agree when it was enacted but you will still be a victim who sinned that this man was born blind him or his father this is Jesus's student asking him a question today in Israel because they are the physical descent of Abraham there are many of them that do not acknowledge Jesus as Messiah yet they still prosper because he said in thy in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed and they came out as a physical descent of abraham yet in their rebellion they would look at god and curse him to his face yet because he cannot act against his word they remain a people blessed and blessed forever these are rules of engagement you need to understand so don't sit down saying I, I, I don't believe I can you are seeing the result evidences of satanic manipulations it is not negating your Christian experience you are partnering with prophecy to establish it so that once and for all there is victory when victory manifests everything will show that you are a winner medicine will show you are a winner your bank account will show you are a winner are we together now I want to pray for you for 
as long as I live, I become by the grace of God an agent of appropriating that which is finished in Christ. That for the sake of one person here who has been oppressed by spirits, can I tell you this? In this work you see, by the privilege of God's grace, I have seen all kinds of oppressions in the life of people. I can tell you firsthand, many of you here, ladies and gentlemen, you are standing here not just for yourself, but you are standing for your families. I've seen people who left and went abroad, but because they did not settle these things with understanding and engaging by faith, they remain like beggars abroad. They would give them a job and mysteriously the person would say, I don't like you. You would think it's just some racist thing, but even if you come back home, it's still the same thing. How about families where women are the men and men are the women? You've seen those kinds of families? And they can be genuine Christians, but men in those families never feed their wives. They only marry to be beggars and remain beggars. You will see a woman paying school fees, building the house, doing everything, and the man is there. He will sincerely carry his CV till his children become teenagers. He's not gotten one job after graduation. I told you, even Satan is not everybody that hates him. Hallelujah. There are people who never hold money and it stays in their hand. There is a spirit and a curse upon the works of their hands. Give them one billion, they will be smiling. Ask them after one year, where did it go to? They will say, something happened. I borrowed this one, he ran away. This one happened and all of that. Come on now. There are people who don't experience delay, but they experience what we call um, their pace with respect to time is too slow. They build one house in 10 years. They use 10 years to finish school. Are we together now? 10 years to finish school. The child goes to school and he will repeat one class five times. Even though it's an intelligent, it's a course. It's a course. A course from the pit of hell, I tell you. There are people who build but never eat. Just when they're about to eat, they die or something happens to them. I have seen it many times. That includes pastors. They raise people. The moment the people are established and it's the time to bless them, something mysteriously happens and takes them out of their life. I've seen business people like that. There are people here who are part of the rising of many people, but till today they are still paupers and beggars. Spirits for you. Hallelujah. Do you believe what you're hearing? Yes. I've seen people like that. Beautiful lady, wonderful lady, but the day a gentleman looks at you and says, I want to go and see your father. That gentleman will lose his job in one week, lose his sanity, lose every opportunity. And they'll just tell him, run away from this family. There's a spirit in this family. You see, this is what sometimes the prophetic ministry erroneously interprets. As men and women being witches and wizards, they may not be witches and wizards, but for sure there are spiritual operations within those families that with intelligence they need to be delivered from. Hallelujah. I know people as a man of God, I desire to bless them. I remember looking at them and said, I will bless them mysteriously in a way I cannot understand. I'm not that forgetful, but I forgot to bless them. Me, oh, a man of God. And the person is saying, what kind of spirit is this? What is pursuing you determines how you are. Hello? Hmm? It's not the same thing that's pursuing everybody. Else. Others who they've paid the price for you. Some you are the first person to rise in your family. There is no mention of the word honor or dignity in your family. There's no such thing. Now, not to get you, please don't feel offended. But there are people in families who never marry until they get pregnant outside. That's the condition. For as long as you say, I want to get married first, no, that spirit will not let you be. I know people who spend 15 years abroad and return back to Nigeria and even the key to a car, they could not have. They call all their classmates and their classmates are now exalted and they're not comparison. What is it that stops the glory of God from manifesting? How about families that always kill those who become the lifters in those families? Have you seen it happen? 
that just when someone just I just got a job I just got an opportunity my stomach my head and the person is dead I came angry tonight in my spirit because someone I, by the privilege of God's grace sir I've had the honor of taking care of a lot of families I have seen 25 year old widows with four five children how long did the man live before dying absolutely nothing and they leave those people 25 28 four five children hallelujah how about your destiny help us forgetting you you watch them on tv making pledges to people and yet you say uncle just to remind you that i'm still here say, okay you i will remember immediately once it is your own they forget are you ready for the book of remembrance to be open just when they are dropping your cv on a man's table someone will come and use your cv to wrap food with it they are considering yours they say please pass me a piece of paper and it's your cv they carry and wrap food with it and you sit down and you are shouting thinking your cv is in the office whereas it's in the bin somewhere he said the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous do you know why he said lest he dips his hand in iniquity i've seen people who love god they are not lazy but they live their lives begging. They never get to a point where they can live a decent life. No. They beg. Their wives join them begging. Their children join them begging. Their grandchildren join them begging. Their entire lineage lives by begging. Shout no way. No way. One more time. Shout no way. no way. Whatever you permit, whatever you tolerate remains in your life. I'm saying this because everything that is not of God, he must let you go. Now, there are, there are families where the parents and the elderly people remain, but the children die leaving the parents. You see a family full of old people with no young man to help them. He said, I write these things to you fathers. I write these things to you young men. I write these things to you children. This is what makes a complete generation. There must be elders, there must be young men, there must be children. No generation is safe without elders. No generation is safe without young men. No generation is safe without children. When Satan wants to suspend continuity, he looks for one of these three. If he kills the elders, the young men will become foolish young men because no counsel. When he kills the young men, there will be no continuity because the elders will pass on one day and the children will not have a way to be trained well. When he kills the children, you now see the spirit that was in Pharaoh and he was negotiating the exodus of God's people. Let some go and let some stay. And Moses said, you are joking, all of us, our wives, our children. In this place tonight, there are elders. In this place tonight, there are young men. In this place tonight, there are children. In fact, in this place tonight, there are babies. Our commission tonight is everybody must be free. There is nobody that is too young to be free. And there is nobody that is too old to be delivered. In one minute, I'd like you to pray. Every first time down my destiny, you must let me go now. 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 In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Now very quickly, I'm about to minister the deliverance power of Jesus. In the next few minutes, we'll watch the wonder working power of Jesus. But just quickly, I'd like us to honor, he came in while I was teaching, I didn't want to interrupt the teaching. Reverend Edward, let's bless him, House on the Rock, Enugu. Thank you so much, sir. Hallelujah. And then, um, where is she? I, I forgot to introduce her, the wife of the um, German ambassador to Egypt. 
Is she here? God bless you. Let's give her a big God bless you. Thank you. So good to see you. Hallelujah. Amen. Please be silent, everybody. If you're sitting, stand. If you're sitting, stand. Prophetic instructions are powerful because contained within them, as foolish as they may sound, is the power of God. I want you to please stand. Ushers, I want you to start bringing out the people who the power of God rests upon and ministering deliverance now. What is deliverance? Separating you from the spirits that plague you, separating you from the conditions also, not just spirits. Usually I will ask you to shout and you will shout. But God is telling me, be still and know. This is why I said, just stand and keep quiet. Bring them out. You see, the way God works is very mysterious. Sometimes it may not make sense. Yes, there are individuals and families right now. It's the fire of the Spirit fishing out families whose destinies have been tied down. Yokes, curses, altars. Please bring them out. No, you will not be able to stand it. You don't know what grace you are under. Please bring them as quick as you can. All the overflows outside. Hmm. These things happen so that you will fear God in a way that God is not a man. If God can say a thing like this and do it, then you will believe every prophetic word he brings on you. Please help the ushers. If they are limited, anyone close to them, let's just save time. There's a reason why I ask that you bring the people out. You're not shouting. You're not doing anything. You've done the prayer. Now I'm praying for you. Yokes. Altars. I'm seeing fire like, like smoke rising rising from things that look like stones the lord is showing me a dark shadow shadow that has rested on families some for decades and the lord is saying this is the shadow that has covered the glory of many families and the lord is lifting it right now He's lifting it right now. Bring them out. Lifting it right now. Yeah. Lifting it right now. Please bring them. Now I'm seeing chains tying the feet of people. Feet means your movement. The Lord is taking away delay. I'm seeing delay. I'm seeing the number 25. Families, please bring them out. Delay, the spirit of delay that has tied down destinies. You're still bringing a few more people out now. I'm seeing something tied around the stomachs of people, and I'm wondering what is this? Is 
what what the meaning of this is and the spirit of god is telling me that this is enchantment this is witchcraft over many it came through dreams and it has tied down many this thing started from your dream and then tied your destiny down from seeing yourself in secondary school to writing exams that never finish to things holding your destiny down right now be released be released bring them out be released be released by the power that raised Christ from the dead by the power that raised Christ from the dead by the power that raised Christ from the dead now hear me every family under any cause cause of untimely death cause of failure at the edge of breakthrough now you are going to shout Jesus with that one loud shout those altars must give way now are you ready one two three shout Jesus be released be released be released be released your family be released your business be released your destiny be released everything that concerns you hallelujah what has buried the name of your family the statement Ichabod that it cannot even be heard again a family that was once great known for greatness but it looks like the devil has sat on your destiny I'm talking to three people by the spirit in the name of Jesus right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost I declare may that fail may that fail be torn right now over your family may that fail be torn right now over your family may that fail be torn right now every month you must treat sickness mysterious sicknesses eating up your finances eating up your energy your vitality i don't know who i'm speaking to but by the power that raised christ from the dead that demonic authorization over your body is cancelled now cancelled now the lord is showing me a woman you've not been able to meet your husband abroad because they've denied you visa i don't know if there's such a person i've prayed for a number of people with those cases but the lord is speaking to me about one you've not been able to go and meet your husband you are legally married but you are unable to go and meet your husband because you've been denied again and again and this has caused a lot of tension in your home wherever you are by the power that raised christ from the dead in the name that is above all names we consult the greatest consular general and we declare by the spirit of the living god that this time around may favor speak for you may favor speak for you may favor speak for you i'm seeing someone here your brother currently has been kidnapped your brother you are aware he's been kidnapped you are trusting god for his release i don't know if that person is in this place else i'm going to speak your brother this is what god shows me in a vision is part of those that were kidnapped until now he's not been released in the name of jesus i use this vision as a point of contact to everyone who has been kidnapped by wicked men by the power that raised christ from the dead this week not next week this week in the name that is above all names we declare their release now we declare their release now we declare their release now for everyone who is in front here brought by the spirit of god i decree and declare every spirit that has held you down god brought you by himself right now be released right now be released i decree and declare that as you rise you step into a range a, a level of strange testimonies strange testimonies 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Return back to your seat rejoicing. How many of you are trusting God for supernatural jobs? Just lift your hands and put it down. Let me see. If you don't believe, keep your hand down. You are trusting God that God between now and March, that God can open a strange door. Let me see your hands. I want to pray for you. The prophetic is very powerful. And that includes those from several nations. You've heard testimonies. You can stand for your brother. You can stand for your son. You can stand for your daughter. You can stand for your spouse. I decree and declare. I don't know who is trusting God for a job, for you, for your family, or a change of job. Because some of you, what you are doing is not really a job. Anything that steals your spiritual life, destroys your health, causes enemies and multiplies your sorrow is not from God. Therefore, I decree between now and the next one month, in the name that is above all names and by the power of prophecy from the east to the west the north to the south nigeria and beyond may god give you a strange testimony may my god give you a strange testimony hallelujah hallelujah i feel stirred in my spirit to speak over the overflow outside the overflow outside please lift your hands i want to pray for you i'm praying for everybody everybody can tap but i just sense in my spirit to speak over the overflow outside outside media if you can help me let me speak over the overflow outside those outside i want you to lift your hands i don't know why god is asking me to speak perhaps it is to connect with you to let you know that distance is no barrier and it doesn't matter up basement all the other overflows you can connect by faith, but I'm speaking particularly to those outside. Lift your hands, those outside, I want to pray for you. And I want you to believe by the faith of the Son of the living God, that what God will do in your life will surprise you beyond your imagination. Father, in the name that is above all names, I pray for my people outside. Lift your hands and believe. This is not entertainment. Believe. Believe the Bible says believe in the Lord your God so shall you be established he said believe in his prophets so shall you prosper I pray for you everything that will make you laugh and celebrate between the next two weeks whatever it is by all godly means I declare may it happen for you everything that will make you celebrate ah Sarah said, all who hear this will rejoice with me. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. Between now and the next two weeks, those outside, but it applies to everybody. Whatever God must do to make you laugh, I declare may it happen speedily. Speedily. If it's a job, may it happen speedily. If it's your visa, may it happen speedily. If it's your house, may it happen speedily. The Bible says, despise not prophesying. Despise not prophesying. Still keep them. I'm speaking to them. I'm speaking to them. Why God is putting it in my heart to speak to them? I'm speaking to those outside. Sometimes God moves like this to comfort us, to help us see and know that distance is no barrier. Media, are you helping me? In the name that is above all names. The oil of favor. The oil of favor that can come upon a man's head, that can come upon a man's hand, that can come upon his feet and rewrite his story. I stretch my hands first from outside and then to all connecting and to those connecting across the globe in the name of Jesus listen I tell you with all humility and with every sense of regard to you and to God I know what favor is I know how it works I have seen what the favor of God can do this ministry is evidence that God's favor can rest upon a man it is such as I have in the name of Jesus to those outside and whoever is tired of struggling moving from pillar to post and things are not working in ministry in finances I pray for you receive the oil of favor 
receive the oil of favor receive the oil of favor receive the oil of favor receive the oil of favor receive the oil of favor receive the oil of favor everyone shout this after me say father every curse every enchantment every demonic arrangement orchestrated by men and by spirits against my life and my destiny let it be destroyed now open your mouth in one minute and pray every enchantment every curse orchestrated against my life against my advancement against my health against my prosperity by the blood of the eternal covenant be broken be broken be broken be broken in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus now everyone please listen to me thank you for your patience and your endurance but I want to show you something every demonic oppression upon the saints depends on a certain kind of belief system no matter what kind of spirit is sent to you that spirit is helpless until a certain belief system is formed in you it is the union of that spirit and your belief system that equals your tragedy did you hear what i said satan is as powerful in your life as the limitation of your belief system so the primary assignment of spirit is not to oppress is to first manipulate your understanding or build a garrison around your wrong belief system so that regardless what truth comes for your liberation you do not sustain the intelligence to understand it there is no spirit that is not at the mercy of your belief system even god as mighty as he is is limited by your belief system he said let this mind be in you which was also in christ jesus he says they limited him in the wilderness they limited the holy one in the wilderness how do you limit the limitless god i want to show you something powerful send any kind of spirit spirit of death spirit of delay spirit of retrogression untimely death poverty all those spirits will come and mark time at the gate of your mind there is a certain mental component that empowers their entry or keeps them forever did you hear what i said so the bible says no weapon fashioned i used to think the weapons are the arrows that fly by day these weapons are mindsets they are fashioned based on your weaknesses so satan brings your background brings your failure brings poor or ill mentorship and uses it to fashion a weapon that weapon becomes the access point for spirits so no matter the kind of deliverance you go through once that software that faulty thinking is still there that deliverance session was only a waste of time because all he needs to do is to touch any triggers in your life and it will make you open the door through your belief system anger jealousy lust pain wrong memory fear all of them are triggers and any one of them can bring you back to that mold and the spirit will find its way again so complete deliverance is not just casting out demon spirits are we together but a reorientation through the teaching ministry that now gives you a superior understanding a mindset that is always superior that way you close the door permanently over those spirits in fact in order of spiritual priority i rather teach you the truth that to minister deliverance for you because once that mindset is altered the spirit itself becomes unconducive the bible says when spirits leave men they go through deserts 
and from the desert there was nobody to cast them by themselves they left the desert and came back to the man light how forcible are right words they can force spirits out and force prophecies in this will be your final prayer are you ready to pray once you pray i'll just speak over this um make sure immediately we are done praying or whilst we are praying please bring out your prayer request everybody and for those who have not written your prayer request let me give you a minute we write prayer requests here as an act of faith if you care please write maybe sit for a moment i will allow you to pray while you are sitting so you can write that you are sitting doesn't mean you will not pray you will pray oh. so just it's not a license men ought always to pray let me give you a minute to write write because everything you're writing will come to pass speedily hallelujah speedily the lady is going to start laughing by the spirit it's not careless laughing the laughing is a symbol of joy and victory that has come to her family it's a holy laughter it's not something that is mechanical it's by the spirit the bible says the shouts of joy and victory shall not depart from the tent of the righteous i just saw this in the spirit and i'm speaking it unto that person and unto that family that laughter that has begun all through this year it will not cease in the name of jesus are you writing please write nobody reads your prayer request so you are liberty to write it's, it's, it's an act of your faith releasing it those outside all the overflows please write connecting online go ahead and write you can send it we're about to pray god answers prayer he does he does he does not just hear prayer but he answers call upon me he says and i will answer i will show you great and mighty things which thou knowest not let me give you the final prayer we're going to be praying and challenging according to 2 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 4 NIV. 2 Corinthians 10 for NIV. We're challenging by the light of God's word. Every faulty belief system. Every wrong way of thinking. That is empowering failure, defeat, attacks, delay, limitations over our lives. This will be our final prayer point in this miracle service. NIV says the weapon we fight with are not weapons of the world. On the contrary, it says they have divine power to demolish strongholds. Verse 5 says we demolish arguments, every pretension that sets itself up against the knowledge of God and we take captive every thought. Every what? We take captive every, you can take thoughts to captivity and bring them or make it to the obedience of Christ. You are going to pray now whilst you are seated. Shout this loud, shout this clear. Whilst you are doing that, you will multitask by passing your prayer request. You may pass it to the right person, the extreme right or extreme left. So it makes it easy for the ushers. You'll see them picking up the request. Are you ready? Go ahead and pray. Say, Father. I challenge come on shout like a believer say father I challenge by the light of God's word every faulty belief system every wrong way of thinking that is empowering failure empowering defeat empowering attacks empowering delay empowering limitations over my life and destiny i bring it to captivity now go ahead and pray every limitation by the light of god's word 
Someone pray. Someone pray. Pray by the light of God's word. Every thought, every mindset, mindset that came from the past, mindset that came from wrong mentorship, mindset that came from your previous failures, mindset that came from culture, mindset that came from your limitations, whatsoever they may be, sponsoring failure sponsoring defeat sponsoring attacks delays limitations in life and destiny i bring them to captivity by the light of god's word hallelujah hallelujah jeremiah chapter 3 and verse 15 says and i will give you pastors or shepherds after my heart according to my heart it says they shall feed you why do they need to feed you what are they feeding exactly number one they are feeding your spirit number two they are feeding your mind what does it mean to feed your mind to use the Word of God word applicable principles to begin to rewrite on the software of your mind reprogramming your understanding giving you a mindset that is pro-victory, pro-Christ, pro-destiny, pro-prosperity, pro-authority. Are we together? This is the assignment of the teaching priest. So you can come as you are, but you must submit yourself, not just to the miracle working power, you must submit yourself. Everything in your life eventually reflects your mindset. Remember when I'm teaching on mindsets, I teach you that sometimes many of us give loved ones our clothes, maybe used clothes, you can give them as a gift. How many of you see that you may have worn a white cloth, maybe a white shirt, white trouser for a few years and it's still looking new because of your mindset. You give that to some cousin or somebody, somebody somewhere with a low level thinking. After one month, you look at that same shirt you've used for years and you want to run away. Do you know what has happened? The mindset was transferred to that cloth. Carry a CEO in his office. I have taught you this. Put him at the gate of the company and carry with all due respect many of the, especially the security that are ill-trained, just there to serve basically. Reverse them and put them to sit on the seat of the manager for one week. The first thing that will happen is that the man will most likely destroy that office because of careless use. He will steal everything there and tear every paper, use it for whatever, finish every food, every refreshment in the fridge. And then people will stop coming to the office there because the CEO at the gate will start inventing an easier system. He will first invent a system that shields him from heat and then his cautiousness, that sense of courtesy, will make all who are coming to look for the man in the office to stop at the gate there because their problems will be stopped at the gate. I'm saying that to tell you that what distinguishes people essentially is not just the clothes they wear, it's not just their communication, it's their mindset. An Ambroba is a mindset. A man of God is a mindset. Did you hear what I said? A failure is a mindset. A CEO is a mindset you don't necessarily call a body a ceo when that body dies and falls to the ground you don't call it a ceo it is the mindset you are calling an apostle is the mindset you are calling a billionaire is the mindset you are calling a millionaire is the mindset you are calling a failure so when god gives you a new name the new name comes with a new mindset you see that now for you cannot put new wine in old wine skin the problem is not the wine. The problem is the wine skin carrying it. There are times that God does not want to manage your mindset. He wants to take it away from you totally and bring something new. I'm saying this to some of us because your blessing tonight for many of us is beyond the miracles and all that you have received. The prophetic words that has come upon you as powerful as they are. It's important for you to know that God is calling you to a journey of radical transformation editing by the spirit methodically line upon line precept upon precept it's time for you to re-examine the entire span of your belief system 
it doesn't matter how long you've held on to them if they have not sustained the ability to produce Christ and his glory through your life it's time for you to sustain the courage to look at them and begin to edit them by the spirit and this is our assignment to guide and midwife that process of transformation for you according to the measure of grace that we've been given so that you don't just shout amen and then every blessing that wants to rest upon you the requisite mindset your hand in the spirit is your mindset did you hear what i said your hand in the spirit is your mindset if i bring out one million naira and i say take you will not take it with your feet you will not take it with your head you may bow your head to say thank you but it's with your hand you will receive it in the realm of the spirit the agency for receiving is your mindset so if god says take and your mindset is not prepared to receive it the blessing will stay as a prophetic reality and never manifest in your life it matters not just that you receive prophecy it matters that you endure sound doctrine to the end that your understanding be thoroughly furnished there is a kind of mindset the anointing is looking for there is a kind of mindset favor is looking for. Are we still together? There is a kind of mindset speed is looking for. There is a kind of mindset you are trusting God to move from say 1,000 membership to 10,000 to 20,000. It doesn't just come because of you, your age, your size. No, there is a mindset that can host that level of glory. The Bible says there are many stars and that even among the stars, one differed from another in glory. God wants to do much in the lives of many of us here, I perceive. But there is still a faulty understanding. Our belief systems, our ignorance as to knowing the ways of God and how the systems of the kingdom operate. This is the reason why we are here every time we grant access to our teachings. The reason why we do these things is so that you will be able to receive the word of God. Lay your hands whilst you are seated. Our time is fast spent. Let me speak over those who need healing. Our time is gone, but I have to do this. We may not take testimonies tonight, but lay your hands. I want to pray for you. The stage is always yours every week. You can register for your testimonies. Those online, everyone, please lay your hands. You are standing in for someone. In the next one minute, I want to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, the one who died and resurrected in power and glory. Thank you for the power to heal, the power to bring life even to the sick. You gave us this noble instruction to heal the sick while we preach the kingdom. And Lord, in honor and obedience to that call, I stretch my hands right now over your people spread across this auditorium and its environs outside the many who are following online and the many who will hear this i'm praying in the name of jesus that every spirit that is responsible for infirmity every spirit responsible for sickness diseases of any and all kinds by the power that raised christ from the dead i cause the operation of those spirits from your body this moment in the name of Jesus, right now I stretch my hands, be healed. Shout a believing amen. amen. Headaches be healed right now. Amen. Eye conditions be healed right now. Amen. Heart conditions be healed right now. Amen. Blood conditions be healed right now. Amen. Bone conditions be healed right now. Organ failures, let there be a brand new, a reproduction of new organs in the name of Jesus. Respiratory problems be healed now, tumors and cancers be cursed now, fibroids, we curse you now, gastrointestinal problems be healed now. Reproductory problems be healed now. Urinary problems be healed now. Respiratory problems be healed now. Digestive problems be healed now. Neurological problems be healed now. In the name of Jesus Christ, back pain be healed. 
Lumbar spondylosis be healed. Joint pains be healed. We change genotypes right now from SS to AA, from AS to AA, in the name of Jesus Christ. Ear conditions be healed now. Every prolonged pain in your body be healed in the name of Jesus. Now, whether I mention your case or not, anyone appointed to death by sickness, those following from hospitals, clinics, everywhere, be healed right now. I stretch my hands and I declare, let the healing power of Jesus from this ground, through the airwaves, let it flow to you right now. I speak to someone, you shall not die. Your health will not deteriorate. It is cancer that will die. It is HIV that will die. It is tuberculosis that will die. It is pile that will die. In the name of Jesus, every mental health situation right here in Nigeria, across Europe, America, Canada, Asia, be healed right now. Autism, be healed right now. If you are here, you came with a wheelchair, you came with a crutch or some walking aid for your feet, your hands, I declare be healed right now. For every and any infirmity here at this miracle service, we pronounce you healed. We pronounce you whole. We pronounce you perfected. In the name of Jesus. You will search for that pain and not find it again. You will search for that infirmity and not find it again. I declare restoration to your health. Now rise up, please stretch your hands towards this request. Stretch your hands, please, towards this request. Are there any requests yet to come? Please stretch your hands and begin to make faith declarations in one minute. These Egyptians I see today, I will see them no more forever. Someone full of faith is praying. In the name of Jesus, I'm going to bow my knees in one minute and lay my hands over these requests as a point of contact while you pray. Make faith declarations that in the name of Jesus Christ, this comes to an end. Every oppression. Go ahead. name of Jesus I decree and declare over you bowing my knees to the father of our Lord Jesus Christ that every testimony that needs to come out from this request beginning from tonight may you begin to hear them beginning from tonight may you begin to receive them every human agent who must partner with prophecy to make for the manifestation of this request I decree and declare may the Lord raise them and bring them to you Every death sentence here represented is cancelled. Every issue of debt, financial issues plaguing people, it comes to an end permanently. Whatever it is that you've written here as an expectation that is consistent with the will of God, I release my faith with you even on this altar and I declare return rejoicing with your testimonies. In the name of Jesus Christ. Prophetically, I stand upon this request and I decree and declare that these Egyptians you see today, 
you will see them no more forever no more forever no more forever hallelujah in the name of Jesus Christ now I want you to lift your hands as I speak over you prophecy is the final or the second to the last atmosphere that is created for reception father I decree and declare over your people shame and reproach from this day comes to an end forever comes to an end forever I decree and declare wherever the helpers of your destiny are whether they are in Abuja in Lagos in the north the south east west Europe America far west wherever they are between now and the end of the month the month is not ended yet I gravitate them towards your destiny every long-standing issue you have prayed you have fasted it has refused to change I release my faith with you and I declare this is the season of change for you in the name of Jesus Christ may the Lord give you a new song you will sing a new song you will sing a new song you will sing a new song for someone God will take away sleep from your helpers like Ahasuerus and make them open the book of remembrance towards you in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus whoever must come into your life for your rising wherever they are may they come speedily everywhere your job is may God locate you and take you there everywhere your finance is for this season can I pray against the spirit of debt and borrowing in the name of Jesus anyone who is in a financial situation now I give you one month by prophecy may the God of all grace bring you out of it now every family that has not risen you have not seen the hand of God the testimony of God helping men from your father to your mother to your siblings to you every one of you in concert receive strange testimonies in the mighty name of Jesus the gift that the Lord has put within you I stir it up by the anointing and I declare may it bring you profiting 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 what you have been looking for I command it to start looking for you ah, 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 hear this one what you have been looking for may it start looking for you in the name of Jesus Christ every confusion in your life may the spirit of grace bring clarity to your life now everyone who is discouraged and downcast you are wondering what to become of your life I want to speak to you in the name of Jesus you will have the last laugh in this life anyone under the sound of my voice appointed unto death I declare may death pass over you may death pass over you you are blessed in the city you are blessed in the country you are blessed in Abuja blessed in Lagos blessed in America blessed in UK all over Europe all over Africa return as a sign and a wonder return as a testament of God's favor in the name of Jesus let me take a minute and speak over all who have sown seeds giving standing with us I just felt stirred in my heart to do that people give the things that you see us do it is based on the givings the faithful givings of God's people and I just felt stirred tonight to pray over everyone who has given not just here in Nigeria but across the globe UK America 
Canada, people have given for our meetings coming. People have given even in the house. People have sown into my life as a man of God. I stretch my hands. God is not a fraudster. God is not a scammer. He doesn't play games with people. In the name that is above all names, you have sown to this ground. It is good ground. Therefore, receive a hundredfold harvest. Therefore, receive a hundredfold harvest. A harvest of prosperity. A harvest of wisdom. A harvest of helpers. A harvest of joy. A harvest of help. In the name of Jesus. May you never do anything alone in your life. God will raise people to stand with you. To stand by you. To stand for you. In the name of Jesus. Quota to shame. May God raise help us for you. Now let me speak over your spiritual life. Everything attacking your prayer life. Attacking your word study life. Attacking your zeal and your passion for spiritual things. It dies permanently right now. May your prayer life be fanned back to flames. May your word study life be fanned back to flames. May your passion for the house of God be fanned back to flames. May your appetite for spiritual things be fanned back to flames. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen, I call you Beulah and Hephzibah. Beulah and Hephzibah. You are like a well-watered garden. I call you a wealthy place. An oasis springing possibilities. In the name of Jesus. You will not beg and you will not borrow. Yet you will not lack. In the name of Jesus. These hands that are lifted remain lifted forever. They will not go down. The Lord is your shepherd. He will guide you in paths of righteousness. He restores your soul. In the name of Jesus. Your enemies will not see your back. Your enemies will not see your face. Their plans will end as vanity. But as for you, the Lord is your lifter. He will lift your head. He will give you speed. No delay. No retrogression. Go forward, go forward, go forward, advance, progress in destiny. And I pray for you, the kind of honor and favor you have never seen this week. May God bring this as a witness to your life. Wave your hands to Jesus, give him all the praise. Someone may need to make that commitment and say, Lord, my sincere parents, my loved ones may have failed because they did not have knowledge. But will you use me as that priest? Let me be that mediator between the old and the new. Someone rise up in one minute and begin to pray from the depth of your heart. Someone pray. Please pray. Please pray. Let every other name fade away. Let every other name fade away. Till that song a family where all of them mysteriously HIV just manifested in their lives like that like from father to children there was no history 
of that demonic thing but everybody like that I know people who are healthy and sound and fine about to get married they went to do blood tests and they suddenly found out that one person is HIV and the person said I can't there is no way this would have come medically certified when everything scatters they go back and check and you find out they are perfectly sound I like you to pray and say in the name of Jesus Christ say it say in the name of Jesus I decree and declare that no power will contend with my authority I am a spirit with a mortal body I am a spirit that submits to the authority of Jesus open your mouth and begin to declare I have dominion in the name of Jesus over the realm of the air the realm of the sea Someone is praying. Sabagata barata gata balaka to shoprondos. Ekrete ke barato sodo brenda gata balaka dia. Sakata braska de balaka ta. Embrakata baraka to shoda gata. Pray. Something is happening. Pray. Something is happening. He bate ka baraka to shkedia. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shout it, say in the name of Jesus. I take my rightful place on earth as God's steward. And I declare, Holy Spirit, I am in partnership with you. Every good thing that must manifest from heaven to my life I declare let it be so now lift your voice and begin to pray I take my place I take my place every good and perfect gift assigned by God to find expression in my life in this season I declare I take my rightful place as God's steward on earth Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. Every system of authorization working against my life, my family, my destiny by the blood of the eternal covenant be silenced now open your mouth and pray be silenced be silenced be silenced shake it pa kata ba la katosh em brekete kata pa rosko toba be silenced in the name of jesus systems of authorization fighting your influence Fighting your destiny. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now hear me. This prayer you are about to pray. Many miracles are going to come out of it. Say in the name of Jesus. I declare. That this body. Is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Therefore, every sickness and infirmity in this body programmed to waste my life, I command, depart now. Open your mouth and pray. Depart. Fibroids. Depart. 
high blood pressure, depart, cancer, depart, someone pray, tumors, growths, depart, Belakatosh Kadila Pariata, blood conditions, depart, Sagada bagada bagados kade, embrete ke baruso segede balatos. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. I declare from today that I have a covenant of longevity. My body will never separate from my spirit until my time is done. Every premature separation, either by accident, by sickness, by the activity of wicked people, I cause it right now. Go ahead and pray. No premature separation coming in the form of accidents. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Please don't be distracted. Jeremiah 22, 29. Please give it to us quickly. Jeremiah 22, verse 29. It says, O earth, 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 hear ye. O earth, earth, earth. It says, hear ye the word of the Lord. The earth is a universal point of contact. The Bible says, as for the earth, out of it comes bread. It says, the profit of the earth is for all. And even the king is fed by that which comes from the earth. I'd like you to pray. Say in the name of Jesus, my portion given to me by God, I decree and declare, through the ministry of men, let it gravitate towards my destiny. Open your mouth and pray. God is a God of portions. God is a God of portions. Pray. God is a God of portions. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus, every negative inheritance that has been transferred to me by those who were before me, I decree and declare by the blood of the Lamb, I reject it right now. I reject it. Go ahead and pray. Every negative inheritance, inheritance, that has come as untimely death, negative things, closed doors. I reject it. Someone pray. I reject it. I reject it. I reject it. In the name of Jesus, I reject it.
Hallelujah. Listen. The implication of having dominion over the realm of the air, the realm of water, the realm of earth, is that no element that comes from these sources should work against you. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Judges, I, I, I was quickly trying to look for the scripture. Judges chapter 5, I hope I get it right. Let's look at 19 and 20. This was Deborah and Sisera. Judges 5. The kings came and fought. I hope I got Then fought the kings of Canaan in Tanakh by the waters of Megiddo. And they took no gain of money. Verse 20. Yes. It says they fought from heaven. The stars in their courses fought against Sisera. Can I tell you? The elements of nature can hearken to the voice of those who know their God and can stand in partnership. Hold on. That means if someone goes to use the earth against me or pronunciations that go through the wind or water, provided is one of these elements. Did the Bible not say the sun shall not smite you by day nor the moon by night? Say in the name of Jesus, I speak to the elements of creation. Hear the word of the Lord. Walk in partnership with the Holy Spirit and the word of God for my favor, for my destiny, not against me. Open your mouth and begin to pray. The elements of the supernatural. I decree and declare the sun shall not smite me by day. The moon shall not smite me by night the scourging tongues of men shall not catch up with me i have dominion over the air dominion over the sea dominion over the earth pray Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We believe you are blessed by the message you just watched. Let us know what stood out to you in the comment section. You can also support our channel by liking and sharing our videos. So more people like you will be able to watch these powerful messages. We celebrate you and see you in our next video. Thank you.